What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States and the army under Roger Leverett is laying siege to the city of Paris and we're going to capture it with plenty of support. So let's get cracking. But I think with this maneuver we will have effectively broken the Austrian power in the west. Now we, now we need to take advantage of that, uh, tidy up or clear up their forces as they stand and then aggressively push east in an attempt to try and uh, help out the pocket of troops around <laughs> that we've got currently deployed in Croatia. I'm hoping that extra troops recruited in the likes of Lisbon will be able to provide a bit of extra bit of extra beef in a way that North African troops from Tunisia will not. Um, anyway, before we worry about that, let's get my gun set up on the high ground. My veterans deployed in a line, in a great line to advance forward to meet the enemy. Rangers can stay inside the town. Put the bulk of my cavalry on the left because it's more open. Howitzers open up as they see fit. I mean, I say that, they will definitely choose to shoot at the mortars, which I don't want them to do. First order of business. Advance forward with great speed. We have an enormous advantage in men. So let's not waste it. I'm happy to let my foot artillery engage the mortars, but I want to get my line up and engaging their infantry as fast as possible. Yep, here comes their quick climb. I mean, their troops are mostly militia. So my right flank is going to hold its position. Because it is the weaker front. And I'm going to push on the left. Bring my cavalry into bear. Bayonet charge them in. Call off the bayonet charge. Advance the line. Just use my cavalry to pursue and destroy these routing units. Charge them both into this garrison. People are teleporting around. Human barrel into that garrison militia unit, that unit's gonna get picked off. Okay, so all of you that aren't infantry form up. Make sure they are shattered. Okay, the enemy is collapsing. Keep the line advancing at speed, it's going to be very thin. <laughs> 
caught a fire like I'm citizen reunion out and exposed. Maybe just kill them, see if you can get a handful more, makes them shatter. Focus my artillery on the armed citizenry. Bring this cavalry unit around. Both charge the garrison provincial loan. They haven't formed square. They're not ready to receive us. Artillery fire round shot the armed citizenry. Slaughter them. Barrel into that infantry unit. Artillery engage the 11th or the yeah 11th regiment of foot. Advance up. Lots and lots of slaughter. Artillery ceasefire. Regiment of horse is going to crash into their flank. Come in with the bayonet just to deliver the coup de gras. Don't worry about it. Excellent. That was everybody but the 11th Regiment have been routed from skirmish fire. Good, good, good. Nice. So that is Paris captured. Great, with only a loss of 179 men. Superb. Dressier gaining a lot of experience. Or more experience, I should say. Come on, that's right. Gimme. There we go. Get everything repaired. To Murphy Cecil. Okay, you, Ian Brent, are likely to head south to deal with the mess down there. Roger Leverett, let's get his forces retrained. Let's destroy the University of Orléans. Let's repair the Naval Hospital. Let's get better infrastructure growing, or get better infrastructure built. Apart from that, uh, Brussels, you need better roads. Your garrison is almost entirely um, back up speed. These armies here are... You're in reasonable shape. Ready. You're waiting on one unit of artillery. To be honest, you can probably... deploy without that. Or rather, you are needed without it. Let's take two sixth rates. Ships ordered. Set, go. Waiting. Deploy them. Get over to the tr this trade port. Officer on deck. Orders received and understood. Good, you are embarked. Push them up to Zagreb. 
Great. Two more turns. You're just a militia army, so you're kind of useless. As are you. You're more concerning. And there's additional troops where they came from. Although Vienna is on the verge of... On the verge of um, rebelling. Even with a full garrison. So... They might not help them. Nice. Okay. Great. Let's go this ship over to Visby. Just get a regular sloop. Great. Okay, we are going to have some follow-up actions to fight. There are still a lot of Austrian troops around here, but they've lost their main recruitment centre. And we're probably going to take you, Godwin Gates, smash into Gottlieb Stadium. Very good force under Gottlieb. However, American firepower is going to be more than up to the task. Hopefully we can trick the Austrians into a few um, defensive engagements where we are favoured and we want to start using Paris as a recruitment station almost immediately <laughs> start churning up troops um, to send to the south. Rain. I haven't had a rainy battle in a while actually. Guns up on the high ground. How it says open up. Oh, interesting. It's that. So we're going to have to go and advance on a narrow front. Then spread out once we get to the flatter ground. Awful lot of cavalry here. Don't quite like it. Spend some heavy cavalry on the left. Sharpshooters will stay wide on the right. Run the sharpshooters forward. My heart is going to be focusing on their artillery, which isn't terrible. Get a volley off against the household cavalry, that'd be pretty sweet. Not in time. Well, you did get them off. Grenadiers get in there, sharpshooters run. Get out of there. A lot of my units form squares. Let's start to drop some of the quick climb in. Let's move up our cavalry. Probably going to engage the carabiner. My grenadiers are going to push in on the right. So the household cavalry we already had the advantage. We are just kind of reinforcing that advantage. The troops that haven't deployed into square. Let's start to move them up like so. Okay, let's move my cavalry up to there, onto their flank. Square's been broken by a unit of light horse. My skirmish cavalry is still engaged. Let's see if we can make them just run through this engagement. Okay, they're shattered, which is excellent. Their artillery is engaging us with some strength. Your square is now broken. So let's start quick climbing some of these troops that are scampering around. Swiss pikemen are advancing, but they are going to be fired upon in the flank by the 121st. Sadly, because of the sound, because of because it's raining, we're not getting the awesome sound effects we normally would. Push you one unit in against the Grenadier Guards. 
attacked here. All of the cavalry units have been defeated. Bomb line engage the enemy with musketry. Household cavalry have got a lot of morale. Advancing into the onto the flank of the Swiss pikes, still firing into the combat. Ooh, a lot of enemy units here. Let's switch to shrapnel shots. Excellent, the enemy cavalry has been knocked out. Push my carabiner up. I'll dice through these mercenaries pretty rapidly. Keep chasing the horse grenadier guards. If they turn around and fire on us, they'll just blow us the, blow the saddles out from under my men. The Swiss pikemen say they're winning, and they are against the 120th, but the 121st of pushing up. You get the carabiner, you get the skirmishers, you push around the Freikorps cavalry at the back. Swiss pikes are still holding. This cavalry in here barrel down into the general's bodyguard. All screen of their guards are wavering. Ignore the infantry, go for the general's bodyguard. Pikes are broken. Infantry form up. They go tackle the howitzers. Cressier, go for the Freikorps cavalry. This unit of Cressier come in and help out against the line infantry. This unit of no, you go over here. These skirmishers pursue the enemy infantry. And the right flank of our line is going to advance. You can see shrapnel shot doing a lot of good work. Switch both artillery pieces to round shot. Ignore the horse grenade their guards, they're being engaged by artillery and musketry, so don't need to worry about them. Actually, let's push this line up a bit. Cressier engaged the mercenaries. So now we've got the general's bodyguard plus a unit of line infantry. They are the last units holding out on this front line. Get in here with the bayonet, just to make sure we do get them. Kill the enemy general. Now they are falling, although they are now. Shrapnel's out of range. The uh, cavalry push on. Infantry get out, start engaging this unit that's got around behind us. Now it says quick climb this unit of militia that are firing at us in droops and drabs. Push up. There goes 28. Artillery engage the militia in the distance. Let's recover the cavalry. 
pursue the line infantry. Maybe they're shattered. Just a round shot, still not enough to engage the, this unit of militia. Infantry form up. Okay, let's play this with time dilation. Because right now. God, you did all. You held this up for all that, and now you're just going to run away on first contact. Shameful. Kill the last of that line infantry. I'm going to kill that militia unit for wasting our time. Got him. The 85th Regiment of Militia has been really wiped from the records. Nice. Good win. That's going to drive them west towards Calais. We can't pursue, but we've got funds to replenish. They can't cause any problems from where they are, because they're boxed Sir. in quite nicely. Ready and awaiting orders. Okay, so you're going to head east to deal with that. We've got more troops down here. Let's recruit a unit of infantry. Yeah, general's unit rather. Yes. Recruit some subordinates. Just keep massing our strength in Zagreb. If they let us defend, if they let us build walls here, they're in big trouble. Because that will take a lot to try and get rid of us. Roger Leverett got attacking general mentioned in dispatches for his capture of um, Paris. Ian Brent got patriotic sword being in it as well. Godwin Gates gained mentioned in dispatches. He looks terrible for 23. Right, to India. So we managed to snag managed to land at our cart, which was quite a surprise. But they were it was not defended, so that happened. Disembark Evan J and his force. Evan J is going to engage this force and drive them south. You've already tried to assassinate somebody. Okay, Evan J. Attack this force. They dug in because they see they probably understood what was going to happen to them. Let's hit them and hit them hard and fast. Let them know what it means to wage war against the US. More troops are coming. But whenever we've got a army in good condition, we need to really march them out and do some slaughtering. We need to make sure we expand out the bridgehead uh, relatively quickly so that we don't get too boxed in. But still, the more land we capture, the more money we'll have, and the more armies we can sustain. My infantry, my artillery is going to engage their artillery. My infantry is going to hold for the dervish attack, because their army is mostly melee troops. So it makes sense for us to use our firepower and slaughter them. Can you guys hide? Suppose you do. You are kind of glinty. Lee's Legion can hide in the tree line. Okay, artillery. On limber. I suppose we are attacking them. So they are attacking from a position of... Well, they are defend, they're defending, so they've got their defences kicked in. 
Okay, let's go out wide. Oh, it's just gonna have to use round shots. Did we do any damage to their guns? Howitzers are engaging the, the skirmish horsemen. Dervishes, dervishes. Hindi warriors, warriors, dervishes, dervishes. May as well not worry about attacking their artillery if they're too dug in. Get Lee's Legion up to this position rapidly. Just so they can use the advantage of their oh, wrong way around. Good hits. Well, they'd be firing their bows by now, but they aren't. There they are. Killed five of my cavalry with bow fire. That's the end. That's enough for them. So then we have our first targets in range of quick climb shot. You hit the swordsman, this unit hit the dervishes exposed on the flank. You can actually go within range of shrapnel shot. Exceptional. Advancing you men with all speed. I get a light infantry up on the high ground, ranges below. Lee's Legion. Advance at speed, fire well off. Here we come. Good hits of shrapnel shot coming in. On Lee's Legion, open fire. Other artillery units. Blast them. Attack them. Push into the peasantry. Horsemen get get overrun. Let's get Evan J out here. My line is just opening fire as they plan to pumpkin guard. Get over here.
Kyosier took some hits there. Switched around shot, bombard the Hindu warriors. Infantry move up. There we go. Republican Guard are going to clear out these dervishes quite nicely. Shouldn't have let these guys get uh, charged, but I did. There we go. Their job is to now pursue and destroy. That infantry unit. Send my cavalry to go get their artillery. Let's kill the rest, the rest of these Marathas. Well, those um, dervishes, rather. Charged dervishes. General's knocking out the enemy artillery quite nicely. Come on, kill there. Kill the gunners. J. Get over here. Go get him. I, oh, you're not. You're not going to chase them. I see how it is. Ceasefire, all my artillery. Ceasefire. It's two units of dervishes wiped out. And when these units are in position, they're going to blow this light infantry to pieces. So let's speed up time. If things are just going to... Yeah, there we go. So because they're routing through a town, they're probably not going to kill many units there. They've killed the enemy general. Uh, they survived. So all of you try help kill this unit of Hindu warriors. You can probably get the light infantry on your own. It's only five men remaining. Four, three, two, one. There we go. 28 Hindu warriors left. 13, 10, 9, 8, 3, 1. Chomp. <laughs> nice. Good hits. Good kills. Cassia gained a lot of experience, but how much of it will stay? Yep, they've been pushed back. Evan's done a fantastic job. Sir. Sir. In fact, probably want to take... Want to make sure we are maximising our... Troop capability. Let's move you out. Oh, place for the unit of company infantry. Just to minimise your your um, troop issues, and then advance south. I'm not going to advance too far. I want you just to just to build the fort. You're starting to recruit a proper army. You're replenishing. Nice. Um, I think for the most part we've done everything we're going to do because you're still no you're not recruiting although hmm 
You may stay there as a garrison. Lisbon. Get recruiting more. No, not two units of heavy horse howitzers. No, 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 no. We're not going to give mad upgrading things in Paris because they've got a lot of things they can actually do. Okay, you've recruited another brace of infantry. Let's move you south in case I need them. And let's get them. Just a selection of elite infantry. You can recruit a unit of sharpshooters and a unit of light infantry. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. Yeah, you're going to be, you're going to do some raiding to the south, which is fine. That's kind of what I want. Ian Brent down there. At least religious unrest isn't something you have to worry about. Um... Okay. Sir. Yes. You are now ready for the fight. Ready and waiting for. Indefatigable. Excellent. Right. Let's send you to Europe, perhaps. No, go to India. We've got we haven't got as much um recruitment capability in India. Sir. Sir. Your orders. Ready for orders. Volunteers, Sir. artillery, Make ready. infantry. Two units of volunteers. No, we don't need any dragoons. Let's get one provincial scout, one native musketman auxiliary. Two more, two more slots. That's probably going to be just two regular infantry, I think. Sir, and you, you've, you've got a unit of volunteer infantry. Let's start mass recruiting buccaneers. I mean, I could spread them out, but I'm not gonna. We don't need a huge amount. Get um. you in. 24-pounder frigate. You're gonna go into... There. So Mary's recruit a brace of heavy first heavy yeah, heavy first rates. I mean you are going to stay there, sadly, Edgar Bevins as a guard force for units that armies that may sail to invade us. But apart from that, everything's looking okay. 1900, let's upgrade the wine estates. Let's push this priest over. And to be honest, now we've got we've got good um, good religious tendencies in in Paris. We're going to keep one here, just to keep converting. But we are going to want to build. Oh, don't want that university either. So they've got three coaching inns. We don't need that many. Okay, let's hit enter and see what the AI does in response to this. Come on, Spain. Send your armies into battle. You're a fellow republic like myself. And you've almost got a full stack. Well, you have a full stack army there. No roads in Cuba. Yeah, it looks like they are panicking. It's going to take us some time. Hello, what's this? 
Are you looking to try to take Amsterdam from behind us? More troops recruited from Turin. They're not attacking us. They've cut us off from reinforcements from the sea. But that's okay, as long as we've got our fortifications. Yeah, the arm. I gotta bear in mind they do have. They can maneuver through Hanover in a way that we cannot. Do I want to intercept? If I had fortifications, I would. Opportunity to intercept. Yeah, potentially. No, I want to get one turn of. One turn of reinforcement under my belt. I don't mind if they run around our territory, that's okay. We've got lots of troops in lots of directions. That's not a problem. You know, Prussia didn't, didn't help us out. The devils. So what the Marath is going to do? They're going to try and attack us in our cot. Oh, that poor you run. We need to engage that Marathon fleet, really. Let's see how many ships my one sloop can take out. None. They captured them. Can't read. It looks like they might have taken them into their service. Uh, yes. Yes, I do want to intercept. Yes, I do. Because <laughs> I think it's, it's definitely the town. It's not either of these guys. It's this here. I'm pretty sure. Either way. They got lots of artillery. So they will make a breach. And then we will slaughter them in the breach. Then we will push them back. This is the sort of attrition that we can take. But Oops, sorry, that was my phone. This is the sort of attrition that we can take, but the enemy may struggle because they are relatively quite far at the end of their logistics chain. So losses here are more difficult to replace with new units recruited elsewhere. To be honest... So much infantry. So much infantry to deploy outside of the walls. We have... So I've deployed some men on the walls. So we get the artillery from up here helping us. Two generals' bodyguards. Those dervishes are going to have a decent little bit of ground to push up from. Obviously my generals are coming in from terrible directions, especially when I didn't even see those lancers. They are bayonet charging us. Interesting. Hindi Musketeers are gonna. Yeah, they're gone. Pivots. There goes the Bajay Lancers. Get out of square. Counter charge the Dervishes. 
You men barrel over the hills towards the camel gunners. You men. Just you know, jump jump into squares for Polygar. Company infantry engaging the camel gunners. They're popping off some shots, but it's not gonna help. Push up the flank, stop firing on the guns. You man just drop into square. Even if it's just a little one. Putting volley after volley into the camel gunners, but they are. Camel gunners are in a bit of a dodgy position to engage. The guns are trying to engage this unit of line infantry before they get into position. My general, one of my generals is being harassed. Not Nathaniel Green. Although he's got 84 horsemen in his in his uh, position, he's probably going to be okay. Oh, new men. Reload. Oh, weird. There we go. I run through the square formation. Excellent, get you guys out of square formation. Get to the crest of this hill. Gauge that elephant. They've made their breach. Oh, I got a lot of damage on that infantry because I wasn't paying attention. You men engage that general's bodyguard. There he is, there's their commander. Volley! So many. Oh, got him. Well, that's, that's the proper commander back here. Get right up to those guns and shoot them in the face. It's definitely more efficient to, to not do what I'm doing, but it would have been a bit boring. Loading. So they can unload shots on the general. By the way, the next gun team. Interesting. The next target's going to be the general's bodyguard. Firing. Oh, there's two, three guys at the far end. Okay, lots of shots coming in. Oh, no, he's standing his ground. Now's the time to get him. Now he's exposed. Got him. 
Yeah, a bit of a silly battle, but, you know, I think it worked. Yeah, we lost as many men as they did. Back you go. So they're going to break off and do some raiding. That's just fine. We are not... We're not concerned with... Uh, making money out of India just yet. We need to... <laughs> we need to try and uh, make sure that we're not going to get kicked out of the territory. Um, but I'm going to chop the end off of the Ottomans' end end phase. So I'll see you guys in a second. And we're off again. Turns out, yeah, the, the Russian N10 phase is now worse than the Ottoman one. Hmm. Still. Could be worse. Right. We should have two armies landing in India right about now. Yeah, raid as much as you like. Doesn't mean these ships are going to have to run away. And we're going to want to bring Justin Crompton over. Okay, right, let's... Right, how do we do this? So you ships get into port and then replenish. This fleet requests some ships. Lots of any raids, we're not really worried about any of them. Fleet arrives. So two fleet arrives in the west coast of India. Fleet destroyed, that's my sloop. Um, yeah, they've left themselves really exposed here, so we're gonna land and attack Mysore. We probably will fight it, I just need to I'm stacking these up. Because we're getting to the end of an episode. Goa is occupied. Sapara is defended. Should I just go for Goa? Demand the surrender of the city. Okay, so we'll probably we'll have to fight that manually as well. Croatia's got their artillery fort. Zagreb itself is one turn away from building defences. Let's get rid of these raids. We've got a new port emerges at Corpus Christi. So let's build a... Preemptively build a sloop to occupy it. Great. Now let's get on with the economy spending. I mean, in theory, we don't really want to build roads to increase enemy mobility, but it doesn't make a difference. The territory's so small, in effect, it, it's not a huge deal. Okay, so let's bring you over here. Although, no, you might be needed... Hmm... What I might do is bring this force out of Paris. Hey, we don't need to do. We don't need to repl we don't need to garrison it. Um, I'm going to take the basic African infantry units out of the this army because it's just not to fight in Europe. You need full full spectrum of capability. You know, you need just solid infantry to deal with all this heavy cavalry that's coming in. Elroy Mallory. Elroy. Great. Let's get... Let's get going on the... Recruiting another army. Not This isn't just out of Paris. Unit of sharpshooters and a unit of light infantry. Although a lot of it is coming out of Paris. Upgrade the military technology across the board. Upgrade the fortifications. 
This army can attack Wenzel Muller, and that's going to be an auto resolve because they are effectively destroyed. Halle, let's build. Let's get some sloops to occupy that. Yes. So you're in a great position to march up to the top of here and attack Winfred Graf and send them southward. Riley Grind is in really good shape. Ready Ronald Babington is holding this territory. I mean, yeah, a lot, a lot of strength here. Okay, let's get some troops recruited in Amsterdam. Let's see Not if rich. you will let me just scoot on by here, or will you force me to attack you? Your humble servant. I suspect you will, in which case let's do yes. a switch. Ready and awaiting order. To take this weak Forward. infantry unit out, replace it with a stronger one. Just have them nearby. Yes. Will you let me just slink Forward. here? Cool, okay, so when you manoeuvre, um, I'll be able to get you in a river battle. That's pretty, pretty nice. Especially as you're both depleted already. Anything more? Trade raided. That's okay. Lots of good recruitment. Thirty-seven thousand. So we we are probably going to spend a bunch of that on um, repairing Mysore. We are going to want to spend a Good chunk of it on another army out of Pincombali. So you're up at full strength. Sir, your orders. You're still replenishing, but advance forward. March. So if I take all of you, take the weakest unit and start to just top up the rest. Uh, there we go. Room sixty eight. Okay, top of you and you. Great. Yes, sir. Three artillery pieces, so we're a very static army. Three troops into Kilcutta. Let's get Two Crassier, one unit of company cavalry. I mean, you could probably do with attacking them. Then you could do with attacking them. I mean, there's lots of engagements we can do. I mean, this territory is almost entirely Protestant, which is pretty awesome. Any generals around? Only really far up ahead of us. Let's send our agent up there. Okay, let's try and assassinate this general. Got him. Another mission. Great. Discretion is Scout out Hyderabad. Nagpur's got nothing. I mean, okay, there's a lot of Nathan Ainsley died. One of our ministers, I would wager. There we go. Four stars. Four stars is the minimum. That's fine. Well, the minimum acceptable amount. Right. Okay. Let's fight a couple of... Well, heat up this battle here. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.